Kim Kardashian and Kanye West reunited for dinner at Nobu Malibu on Tuesday evening. The reality TV personality, 43, enjoyed a rare family gathering with the rapper, 46, with their children for their 10-year-old daughter Northwest's dinner party with her school friends. The cordial exes were spotted arriving minutes apart and West's current wife Bianca Sensori was nowhere to be seen. Their eldest daughter North and her friends all wore matching oversized long-sleeved Vulture shirts to celebrate the upcoming release of Yes album Vultures. Hours later, West would go on to post an extremely racy photo of his architectural designer wife, 29, before wiping his Instagram account entirely, presumably in anticipation of his forthcoming album release. For their midweek reunion, Kardashian put on a stylish display in a super crop tube top deemed with high-waisted trousers made out of velour fur. She wore a long velvet trench coat and a matching material and patent leather booties to add inches to her height. She left her raven black tresses down in messy beach waves and opted for a monochromatic pink makeup look. The Skims founder was seen walking out with her cell phone in one hand and a crystallized stiletto clutch purse from Balenciaga. North as well as cousin Penelope Disick, 11, and their friends wore matching vultures tops and black Yeezy slides. West pulled up in an eye-catching look he has been sporting as of late. He donned a leather bomber jacket teamed with wax jeans and unlaced combat boots. Dot the 24-time Grammy winner covered up his face in a hosiery mask, which he also wore as he got into his Range Rover. West also appeared to be parked in a handicapped parking spot. Early Wednesday morning, he wiped his Instagram account just hours after sharing a risque snap of his wife posing braless in a sheer Yeezy tank top and a very racy micro thong. Although all of his grid posts have been scrubbed from his account, he still left up two of his Instagram stories posts of a model and his wife wearing a wet shirt from his clothing line. An early adopter of the social media blackout, West may be preparing for the release of his upcoming, collaborative album with Ty Dolla Sign, 41. The two artists will be joining forces as a duo named Yen Dollar in releasing their debut studio album Vultures next month. In a since-deleted post, West shared a trailer for Vultures and revealed they will be releasing the album in three separate volumes. The first edition, which has been postponed multiple times since a live stream listening session in Miami late last year, is slated for February 9. The second volume is expected for March 8, and the following will drop on April 5. Vultures is West's first album since he was entangled in a string of controversies, most notably condemned for his offensive and anti-Semitic rants. His new album is being self-released. The controversial star has since issued a public apology to the Jewish community in a 40-minute apology video, which Sensori pressured him to do. He previously posted a written apology in Hebrew for his string of unhinged and offensive outbursts. He rapped anti-Semitic lyrics in Dubai and praised Hitler in Las Vegas last month. In November, the Anti-Defamation League called Kanye disgusting, unrepentant, and clearly a misogynist for writing the lyric How am I anti-Semitic? I just f at a Jewish bee in the title track Vultures. Close friends of Sensori revealed to DailyMail.com that she was concerned for their safety and urged him to apologize. Kanye was pressured by Bianca to make this video because she was extremely worried that he was putting their safety at risk, an insider revealed. They have had threats and her friends have expressed their fear in several text messages to her. Dot the source also revealed that he has been unhappy with the messages of concern Sensori has been receiving from her friends, who are urging her to get out while she can and come back home. Just days earlier, Wes made headlines for a heated exchange with a reporter in a now viral clip after they approached him and asked if he restricts his wife of any free will.